All right. Have you ever wanted to go out and wear sandals, but you didn't because of a malodorous smell coming from your feet? Or maybe you wanted to go for a run, but you didn't want to go up because your feet hurt with every step? Or worse yet, you neglected inviting somebody over because you were afraid of those yellow scaly gargoyle claws on your feet? Well, today I'm going to talk to you about foot hygiene, and this is important to all of us because we all move, work, and live on our feet. First, I'm going to discuss three problems associated with bad foot hygiene, three causes, and then three solutions. So first, let's discuss problems with foot hygiene. According to the CDC, uh, an article in uh, 2015, all of us are at risk for contracting athlete's foot. Athlete's foot, um, excuse me, athlete's foot can uh, go for two to four weeks during primary treatment, but if it goes longer, we will need to see a doctor. And there's also something called pseudomonas, which is a bacterial infection, which is a co-infection with athlete's foot, which is associated with it. We'll talk more about this in a moment. According to the American Podiatric Medical Association, article of 2015, about 1% of us are all at risk for toenail fungus. Toenail fungus is a major indicator of negative health. If you have diabetes or cardiac vascular diseases, then you need to see a doctor if you have this. And then thirdly, I'm going to talk about ingrown toenails. According to the American Association of Orthopedic Surgeons, an article of 2014, about 5% of us are at risk for these. Ingrown toenails are painful, red, inflamed, and they can become infected. It's primarily on the great toe, and it's either on the left or the right side. Now that I've discussed the problems, we're going to move on to discuss the causes. But first, I'd like to show you some pictures. I picked some mild ones, but if you want to look away, that's fine. This is a picture of athlete's foot. Not only does it affect the bottom, it can affect the sides and even the tops of the feet. This is pseudomonas, which can cause red, inflamed areas on the feet. And um, you can't see this unless you actually get really close up uh, in person to see it. You'll see uh, circular lesions uh, going into the foot. And then this is toenail fungus, a very mild case of where the uh, toenails are actually yellowing and turning hard and scaly. Okay, so now that I've discussed the problems associated with uh, improper foot hygiene, let's look at the causes. Athlete's foot, according to the Mayo Research Center, January 2014, is primarily contracted from the locker room floor. Somebody with athlete's foot comes in, walks on the floor, spreads it, second person comes in, picks it up, and then it can spread to everybody. Uh, it can also be spread by touching your feet and then touching another part of your body. Ringworm and jock itch are two different infections which are caused by the same fungus, just by a different name because it's on a different part of the body. And then pseudomonas is also picked up in the same place on the floor. According to the American Podiatric Medical Association of 2015, toenail fungus is primarily contracted by wearing the same shoes every day. Moisture is built up in the, in the shoes. It stays warm, moist, and you put the same shoes on, you wear them all day, take them off for just a little bit to go to sleep, put them right back on again. You keep re-inoculating your toenails every time. It may take a few years for toenail fungus to build up, but once it does, it's very difficult to get rid of. Also, it can be caused by either not washing your feet, or when you do wash your feet, uh, if you wash your feet in the morning, you take a shower, put your socks and shoes on right away in the morning to go to work or school, this can uh, make a nice, warm, moist environment for the fungus to grow and will actually cause it to uh, accumulate more. And by the way, ladies, you are doing the perfect thing right now because, well, men are at greater risk. And then lastly, we're going to talk about the causes of ingrown toenails. According to the American Association of Orthopedic, uh, Orthopedic Surgeons, Article 2015, ingrown toenails are primarily caused by improperly, footed, improperly fitted footwear. The toes for ladies' fashionable shoes are crammed into these tight little toes, and, and your actual toes get pressed together, which can cause ingrown toenails. It can also be caused by work boots or hiking boots. When you put your boots on in the morning, you go for a walk or you go hiking, your feet will actually start to swell, and this will cause your toes to compress against each other, which can lead to ingrown toenails. And, more importantly, improper clipping of your toenails can also contribute to ingrown toenails. So now that we've discussed the problems and the causes, 
Let's talk about the solution so that way we can get rid of these uh, bad health threats. Going back to athlete's foot, the primary thing that you can do is actually wear shower shoes. So when you go to the shower, you can wear sandals or those ugly but comfortable Crocs, and that'll keep your feet off of the floor. Your feet actually aren't even touching the ground, so you don't even pick up the fungus. Another thing that you can do, according to the CDC, September of 2015, is by using talcum powder or foot powder. Most of these are medicated and actually come with antifungals in it. And uh, if you do have an infection that you are self-treating, please do go see a doctor if it's been going on for four weeks or more. And now we can talk about toenail fungus and things that we can do about it. Toenail fungus can primarily be taken care of by simply alternating your shoes every day. This is according to Gagel's article of August of 2015. By changing your shoes every day, remember that warm, moist environment. You let your shoes air out, the moisture comes out, the shoes go down to uh, room temperature, the fungus can't survive there, or at least not as easily. Oops, you can also thoroughly dry your feet so when you get up in the morning to take a shower to go to work, just dry your feet off, go barefoot a little bit to allow your feet to completely dry, and then put your shoes on and go do your thing. And you can also do self-care. Self-care can include putting a topical ointment on to uh, burn the, um, it's an acid usually that can burn through the toenail and take care of top layers of toenail fungus. But then again, same thing with athlete's foot. If you have this going on for a significant amount of time, go see a doctor because you may need oral antibiotics. And now we're going to talk about solutions with ingrown toenails. When you cut your toenails rounded, it can allow the toenails to actually, when they grow out, to stab into the sides of your, of your toes. So instead of cutting all the way down, if you cut flat across the top, this will actually significantly reduce your risk of getting an ingrown toenail. Another thing that you can do is if you do find out that you have an ingrown toenail, uh, you can do a few things. One, you can use either gauze or cotton to pack into the area so that way when the toenail grows out, it'll actually grow out, up, and over the top and um, that will keep you from having additional problems. Another thing you can actually do is use dental floss. Wax dental floss, you can dig in here, pull, pull the toenail out, and then allow it to grow out. If you do have significant problems where you have significant bleeding, you can use antibiotic ointment. But if you have more, if you have pus buildup or worse problems, please do see a doctor because you may need to have either a partial or a complete toenail removal. So in conclusion, I've talked about the problems, causes, and solutions of three different health problems associated with your feet. Remember, happy feet are clean feet, and they'll give you a happy life. So go ahead and wear those sandals. Go ahead and go for that run or that workout. Maybe even invite that person that's special to you over to chill and maybe watch some Netflix. Thank you.